DigiKey Electronics presents City Digital, a three-part series brought to you by SupplyFrame, Microchip Technology, and TE Connectivity. In this episode, we look at the rising energy demands from both growing populations and new forms of technology across smart cities. And what I've learned is that the technology changes quickly and you have to keep up with it or be left behind. Obviously, it's about the population, the pollution, it's the resource, it's the uh, livability, it's the education and so on. Innovations like floating solar panels and cutting edge battery technology will offer new ways to complement existing energy solutions, powering the future for the citizens of City Digital. The town of Heldsburg, California has its eye on the future, constructing the largest floating solar project in the United States. White Pine Renewables CEO, Evan Riley, explains what led to this unique project and how it represents a potential avenue for larger cities to future-proof their energy solutions. So the project originated from an idea that placing objects on top of the water could reduce algal growth and reduce evaporation. And the city of Healdsburg evaluated different options, and instead of paying millions of dollars to cover the water with shade balls, they've realized that they could float solar panels on the water, and that would also provide electricity at a discount to what they're paying from the local utility. So we see cities like Healdsburg as petri dishes for ideas that can be large and game-changing for national metropolises. Because in a city like Healdsburg, it's possible for a project of this size, which is roughly 5 million watts, to provide 8% of the energy to the city. That helps the city, one, meet their clean energy needs, two, save money on their bills, and then three, is the city wants the ability to island and provide electricity to key components of infrastructure within the city's grid. That includes hospitals, gas stations, and grocery stores. So having local distributed generation is part of that long-term plan to get energy resilience. Jonathan Catchpole from TE Connectivity shares how his team of engineers are designing and developing resistive solutions for various industries. Energy savings is a big motivator. A big driving force is to move from incandescence to LED lighting and then to add controls. It's to, to turn the light source on and off but latterly we're seeing more to do with dimming to save energy that way. And then I think moving forward we're going to see more work with sensors being plugged into the luminaire so that you can get other savings that aren't necessarily energy savings. So for example, a municipality that might make savings by uh, only emptying bins that are full. So you have sensors in the bin, bins that talk to the street lights to say, I'm full, I need empty. According to Energy Star, the average commercial building wastes 30% of the energy it consumes on a yearly basis. Sam Parks, Chief Product Officer at Sapient Industries, explains how previously untapped usage data can lead to smarter decisions about energy management. We're trying to solve the problem that is energy metering and, and smart building technology has completely ignored 30% of building energy consumption entirely. That 30% is plug load, so it's the energy that's consumed by devices that are plugged in. And those have been entirely ignored. Um, the outlet hasn't changed since its inception, and nothing has really changed because there was this myth plug loads constituted an insignificant portion of building energy consumption. And it turns out we were just wildly wrong. Everything is plugged in. All of our businesses run off of equipment that is plugged in. Sapien's the only one attempting to fill the hole that was missing that was just managing all of that equipment at the outlet. In high efficiency buildings, plug load can reach over 50% of the total building energy consumption. And when we're talking about waste, how much of that can be eliminated, over half of all of that energy that's plug load is ends up being waste. It's the kind of waste that we can easily automate out. It's the waste after hours. It's everything outside of 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And our roadmap of addressing that is we can eliminate total building energy consumption. In some cases, between 15 to, to 30 percent um, just by turning things off after hours. 
Herman Ryder, Senior Director of Global Strategic Program Development and EMEA Supplier Development at DigiKey Electronics, shares with us the company's role as an enabler of innovation, delivering the components needed to develop future smart city technologies. What are the buzzwords in this uh, uh, around smart cities? And I said, like, wait, it's connectivity, it's uh, sustainability, intelligence, it's uh, prosperity, it's connect, smart, innovate. Obviously, it's about the population, the pollution, it's the resource, it's the uh, livability, it's the education, and so on. For us in DigiKey, I think we we try to support all the development in the industries, and notwithstanding the ideas, and then therefore uh, really enabling the the world's ideas. And it's all for me around the human on the end of the day to make our life more easy and more safe. Modern cities must look to the future when developing energy management solutions. Tomorrow's cities will be powered by the ideas of today as innovators take us one step closer to the vision of City Digital. In our next episode, we look at the return to the workplace in the next normal and a renewed focus on public health. Join us as we visit with startups and industry leaders creating smarter and safer workspaces through the use of high-efficiency building management and unique safety solutions.